approximately 125 VCs, and investors signed a statement supporting Silicon Valley Bank to limit the fallout of the bank's collapse and the subsequent impact on tech companies. As the 40-year-old banking institution, Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, wins down operations, numerous venture capitalists, VCs, and investors joined hands and decided to cushion the impact in case the bank were to be purchased and appropriately capitalized. Approximately 125 VCs and investors signed a statement supporting SVB to limit the fallout of the bank's collapse and the subsequent impact on tech companies. The venture firms included Sequoia Capital and General Catalyst. A group of investors for high-profile firms met over Zoom in a series of meetings, disclosed a Bloomberg report. Hemant Taneha, the CEO of General Catalyst, initially revealed the joint statement from several VCs, showing support for the bank. It read, in the event that SVB were to be purchased and appropriately capitalized, we would be strongly supportive and encourage our portfolio companies to resume their banking relationships with them. In parallel, startup incubator Y Combinator posted a petition demanding depositors to be made whole and for regulation to prevent this catastrophe. According to Y Combinator CEO Gary Tan, the petition directed toward regulators, including United States Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Chairman Martin Grunberg scored signatures from roughly 2,800 founders and 180,000 employees at the time of writing. Everyone understands that we have a role to play in trying to calm the situation, Taneha told Bloomberg. However, Disputing this drive to save SVB, prominent Indian entrepreneur Ashneer Grover reminded Taneha that banks don't get saved by passing bureaucratic, United Nations-type joint resolutions taking a dig at the mindset of pouring money on a problem in the hopes of fixing it. It requires intent and balls of steel. He concluded, Hours after USD coin, USDC, lost its peg to the US dollar, Unconfirmed reports about a resolution momentarily brought back the token's prices to nearly $1. Although the reports are currently unverified, multiple sources confirm that many different paths to resolution are in the works and that depositors will get back at least 50% of their deposits in the coming week.